The views and opinions expressed in this podcast episode are those of the host and guests and not their sponsoring institutions. Welcome back to the Chris Cross Corner Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Canty. We have the great debaters in here today. We have Christopher Bird, David Norday. Welcome back. And we have Chuck. What it do? What it do? This is the season finale. Season three finale. We're finally finished with season three. It's been a great year, y'all. Mm-hmm. Great year. Great year. Until last night, God damn it. <laughs> what happened last night, Chris? You know what happened last night. Don't don't even play like that. I think America knows what happened last night. I think America knows what happened last night. No, the entire world knows what happened last night. All of America was watching last night. This, this it was, was no other games, games that was on last night. Detroit versus first. everybody. That's all I'm going to say, man. Literally. Right. They Actually, they you know what? <clears throat> Not just one bad thing happened last night. Two bad things happened last night. Two bad things? What was the other one? Okay. No, because one caused the other thing to happen. So the oh, first God. bad thing to happen was the Detroit Pistons finally won a damn game. The streak is over. The streak is, what, what was it? 28 losses? 20, 28, 28, hey, man, I'm 28. happy, bro. I'm happy as long as long as we're not holding the record by our damn selves. You know what I'm saying? We do have the record by ourselves. That, that no, we is, don't. No, we, don't we, tied, with, we tied with Houston. Yeah. Houston, Houston yeah. one year lost 28 yeah, in a row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember uh, that. I remember that. The worst team in the league. The worst team in league history is still the was the 76ers. Yeah. So 20, we, should, we should be good. 20, hey. 20, 28 ain't it great. Now we about to catch Washington. Watch. They only two games in front of us. They only won five games. So hell. Damn, you're right. Wait, 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 wait. San Antonio's only won like three, five, or six games this year. Hey, bro. We about to go on the winning streak. Watch. <laughs> That's not a good thing. That's not a good thing at all. Because I, I want to I want to reiterate that every time that the Pistons lost on a Sunday, the Detroit Lions won. The only reverse card, man. So, last night, the Pistons won a game. Yeah. And thanks to a referee crew with incompetence mm -hmm. tattooed on their ass, Dallas oh. fucking won. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Again. That's bad, man. And the whole world saw the referees cheat. Everybody saw it. They had like 30 different angles of what happened. Every, you got everybody the footage knows. of golf pushing Decker into the total ref. Hey, I'm eligible. Like, what do you think he was talking about the referee about? Hey, how was your Christmas? Did your wife get you like that new sports car that you wanted? No. No. All I know is. I'm sorry. I got emotional. I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't hear nothing from Cowboy friends. Because they knew they it. cheated. Yeah. They knew. They knew it. We didn't hear nothing about how about them boys? How about them boys? No, they're like, <laughs> all right. They're like, all you know, right. you know that LeBron, you know that LeBron mean to like J.R. Smith during the finals when he was when he was holding hands out like this. He was looking at him like that's every Lions fan <laughs> at the foot of the Lions. Wait, wait, David, do, do that, that pose again. Wait, hold, that, hold, hold that pose. No, hold that, hold that. no, <laughs> no. Lions that's that, what the fuck is he doing? Look, like, no. Chris, Christopher Bird, Christopher Bird, you are. I, I I will agree with you on that one, but I have a better scenario. Oh God, what's even better? Remember when Patrick Beverly took the camera from oh the photographer God. and showed the right? Oh, like, you, you see this? You, you <laughs> see this? This is what happened. Well, <laughs> last, well, last night LeBron, uh, damn near walked up to the monitor himself and was like, "Look." Like they gave him a, the thing. It yeah, was a two point, but it was clearly a three. It was a three. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. It was a three. It was a they whole lost inch. the game. The a one, whole inch one, from his foot the, to from the line. Like the, oh. the one, the one game where like LeBron had like dragged the referee and he was pointing at that one fan. Though that, that that game or so I was at that game too. Get him out. The one where like you know, he, he like like yeah, yeah, that person right there. That person right yeah, there. he said I sucked. Get him out of here. <laughs> yeah, he said the cowboys suck. Man, like, you Get out of here. Mm -hmm. yep. We got screwed, y'all. It is what it man. It's it was a Motor fun. City screw job inside of J World by all Emperor the time, Pal though. All the time against Dallas, Detroit by, get fucked over. By bro. Emperor Palpatine, Jerry Jones. You know himself. what? Emperor Palpatine. I just thought about it. When Barry and them was playing, then they win the OT. Who Detroit? Yeah. 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 
crazy. So so now so now this so hold on, hold on, Chris. <laughs> Speaking of OT, we did not go to OT last night because somebody thought that we could go for a two-point conversion three well, times we, in a row. We did and we won, but you know, go big, go, go, go home, man. Go big and go home. Fuck it. That's how I feel. Can speak on this real quick? Go big or go home. If God, I, I, if God himself, Jesus did Christ, three chances, three chances. Hey, that's because he the knew Virgin he Mary. The first time. First, well, God himself gave it to us, but then the devil said, mm-hmm. Why you try to do that? Nah. Uh, the, the, the NFL, <laughs> the, the NFL said, "Fuck out of here." Hey, hey. NFL said, "We on Sunday." Jesus, we on Sunday. <laughs> Fuck out of here, guys. That's a no. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all thought y'all had that momentum, <laughs> man. Like, th- th- this is this is this supports two things. When God opens the door, you open it. And the second thing, what the Lord giveth. The Lord take it for well, I mean, but the crazy thing is, I ain't never seen Dan Kebble that mad on the sideline. He was never trying, he like, was trying so I thought he was gonna sock somebody. I thought oh, I, I thought he was gonna blow somebody. I thought he was gonna grab the ref, be like, you know, I'll be like, Yeah, get him, get him, Dan. You, you know how like Bob Knight used to like throw his chair like during the, the Indiana basketball games and stuff. No, I that, thought, Dan Campbell, I thought he was gonna do a uh was a, a Jim Ross on a Paul Heyman just Beat on his ass, be on his back or something. No, no, he no, no. Forget that. He about to do a stone cold on him on Jim Ross. I, d- and I, 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 de- beat the hell I definitely, out of I definitely thought he was about to throw them fucking headphones exactly. to midfield. Man, I saw Ken Devil do this yes, it, the yeah, whole man. entire press conference. I was like, oh yeah, he hit it. Oh, he hit it. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that man was he red. Boy, he covered up his ass. Right he's that man man yeah. was red, bro. His, wait, 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 wait. What would Jim? You Ross want to come for me? You want to come for somebody? Come for me. I'm a man. I'm 40. I'm a man. I'm 40. <laughs> the Mike Dundee speech. He was about to, like, Dan, see, Dan Campbell was real life about to run the fade on the entire coaching staff. Wait, Chris, wait, Chris, he, Chris, he Chris, Chris, a, Chris, what Chris. The refs, who we thought they were. That's why we took the damn field. Now, <laughs> if you want to crown them, then crown the refs. Crown their asses. <laughs> they are who we thought they were. They were a little off the hook. They are who they who we thought they, they are were. who we thought they were, man. I'm not, I'm not the light up. I'm not the light. And, and, my, and mind you, I was like, mind you, throughout the entire game, every Lions fan could be pointed out. Aiden Hutchinson was damn near in a WWE chokehold. <laughs> but oh. that's but that'd be like that's every that's week, every and you don't dog. get that call, bro. And they Have never in a come sleep. a <laughs> rear naked choke from the sleep, UFC. Bro. Go, go to sleep. Night night. Go to sleep. It's time for bed. <laughs> but that's once it's late past your bedtime. That's once or twice every week with Aiden Hutchinson, every and he week. never gets the call, bro. They never freaking call. But Detroit's don't get the call anyway, bro. They, they never. never we, we don't never get the call, man. But see, I will say this: Do I think we should have went for just the extra point and said and let the game go to overtime? Sure. Yes. How? Yes. However, however, I'm okay with the result because like no one gave the Lions a chance, and you go inside the enemy territory. And you said, no, nah, man, we're going to play for the win. But, but what's that lot from Herm, from Herm Evers? You play to win the Wait, game. Wait, the sport, the, 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 the spread was one and a half, right? Mm-hmm. They lost by one. <laughs> they, you know they, they, they had Dallas That's one and a half. That's Talk about the rest betting. Like hey, people forget, refs are about. regular people. You're right. I don't want to be They have anymore. regular jobs. I can't. I can't even. I can't, <laughs> even I, can't, I can't. I can't enjoy the Sunday games. I can't enjoy the Sunday games. I can't enjoy Sunday dinner. Like uh, Sunday dinner. I can't even, I can't what are you? Forty eight. Who you're happy? Hey, hey, man. Hey, look. Damn. <laughs> I just thought about that, bro. The, the spread was one yeah. and a half. They one lost. and a half. Mm-hmm. And, 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 Chuck, half. I, and and Chuck, I was saying to David that the same officiating crew. Do you remember the um um the Kansas City and Packers game from Earth from like a few weeks ago? It's the same reference crew. It's the same reference. The same officiating crew. That's the one that called all sides on. Uh, yep. No, 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 no. No, that was Buffalo. This is the no, Green no. Bay one when they was literally. Holding him the entire run down the field, they they were like and, Stevie Wonder. I, oh, 
Ananda, but I think Jaya Alexander literally had like a freaking um overhead power slam. Oh, okay, that play, oh, yeah, that play when it was a pass interference and they mm-hmm. was like, yeah, I was about to say that. And yeah. then, and then for the hail mary or whatever it was when uh, and then it was, was a pass like, interference. Nigga, yeah, he's yeah. really touching me. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's why they ass is downgrade Dane in the playoffs. They see, not, 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 to, not they about to see, lose money. Yeah, see, I just, I just want consistent. They about to rest Thursday night games for the rest of the. <laughs> God don't no, like ugly. Don't put him in. They about to put him on Amazon Prime. No, 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 no. That, that's too much. What that's the, too much. They, but the crazy they, thing is the ref in it, all, all the NBA bad. and NFL been it's fucking so terrible, bro. Like, honestly, honestly, I just read it. So I just want like for these referees to be relegated to go to um to the freaking um to the SWAT conference. Do that. The SWAT Don't, conference. Don't do that yes. to black people. Go to the SWAT conference. <laughs> no, do <laughs> no put no put them in the ACC. No, 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 no. That, that that's that's up a tier. In fact, no, go to, well just go to the Pac-12. I was about to say, this. send it to the Pac-12. 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 Send it to the Pac-12, though. No, put them in the Mountain West. Mountain West. Learn, learn, learn how to breathe in Colorado. Just learn. About to... <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that also did became, I ain't gonna lie, man. But it's, put them in the Mountain West, man. That made no damn sense. Because he okay, it messes so, up so on, many hold things. On, Chris. Hold on, Chris. I, I, I'm, I want to say what I wanted to say before oh, my, my uh, I knocked out my light and I had to put it back together. Oh, um so, uh-huh. golf threw the ball who uh-huh. uh, to Taylor Decker, right? Yep. Taylor Decker caught it. Clear as day. Because I didn't know who he was gonna throw it to. I was like, I was like, who are you throwing it to? Then I saw a sixty-eight. I was like, oh shoot! And he caught it. I was like, yes. Yeah. And the craziest thing happened, Chris. What happened, Chris? My daughter stood up on the couch and said, "Touchdown!" Hey. I said. You have I succeeded. said, "Good job, sweetie," and I picked her up, and I spun her around. Not God didn't tell me at the at the moment, but when we looked back, <laughs> when he looked back, he put it down so quick. He turned around. <laughs> I was like, so "Good quick. job." We turned around. I looked at the TV. I see a yellow thing on the bottom that said "flag," and I threw her back on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, like I said, I said, I said "Yay, fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> It just so happened too at that moment. Someone this, was like, Yeah, it's 2020. Hey, 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 I said hey, 2120. Hey, you know, you hey, know what? I was at Bass House watching the game and we jumped up and was like, Hell yeah. And then <laughs> I looked at I looked at the TV and was like, fuck. That was my that was my reaction. It was hell yeah. And, and then I, I said, Fuck. Uh, let me let me give a let me give a let me give a wrestling analogy to this. If y'all remember the elimination chamber of 2010, after John Cena had won the chamber match, right? Vince McMahon came out and said, "Hey, John Cena, congratulations on winning your match. You're going to WrestleMania. Only if you can defeat this man." And then Batista comes out, beats and his still ass. The whops him. This was literally this was literally that same scenario, but in real life. Before. Because ain't no way this was it's not real life football, it's called Vegas and Vegas, man. So, the so, house the house always wins. Did anybody else before they threw the flag had that feeling that they was gonna call it back, or was it just yes? Me? I yes. did, I did okay. too. Okay, I, <laughs> I was like, it can't be this easy. I said it can't be this easy. I said that's exactly what I said. I was like, wait, it really can't be. Wait a minute. You're, you're right. Like, like if, if you were if you were a Philadelphia fan, San Francisco fan, Baltimore, mm-hmm. Miami fan, you're like, oh, okay, we won. As a Detroit Lions fan, we're like, this was kind of easy to go down the field and score. Right. This I mean, we were like, what, what? We were yeah, like, what the catch? Doing this thing that last drive. We're like, what the catch? What's the catch? This guy exactly. Catch. We were literally saying, what's what what what's the catch? And then boom. He was a number seventy. Was a number sixty. It wasn't eligible. Number seventy came to me, nigga. We saw the tape. Number number seventy was like all, almost like towards the sideline. Number seventy was on the sideline running to you as you were walking towards Dallas's line. Like you, number seventy never well, came. Well, well, here's the How thing. How do you mess that up? Here's the thing, because that's How what he that's that that's what he claimed. So now I'm about to paint the whole entire lying. picture. That's what he claimed. I'm about to paint the whole entire picture. Seventy walked towards the other sideline on purpose team. because he knew Taylor exactly. was talking to the ref. Yes, and they, then they, when they he was done. 
Then when he was done, he went to the line. <laughs> right after the ref went to Dallas and said, it's 68. a trick play. It's 68. a trick play. <laughs> 68 was in his face saying, I am eligible. They do the whole play. 70 is nowhere in the end zone. 70 is still on the line guarding Jared Goff. Because he's a guard. Fuck it. This boy. 68 was yeah. like, I'm coming through. Nobody was on 68. Nobody. Goff they turns or 68. Then everybody's wide, like, oh, shit. He's wide open. open. Wide open, man. Throws Here's it to him. Deal. The, the, even the ref was like touchdown. Two, Lions won. And and like this and nigga like, with honestly, the white hat. What's his name, Chris? Brad Allen. Allen. Brad Allen. Brad. And, Brad and no, I, no. I, I I will go ahead. Bradley. Bradley. Like, he he don't Bradley. Get this, he Bradley yeah. Allen. There you go. Bradley Allen. And I hope you have a horrible New Year. Um. Mm -hmm. No happy. Holiday. Literally said no no no. Seventy was oh. eligible. Was sixty eight? Cody was in your face. Yeah. And I hope your wife divorced you on Valentine's Day. Yeah. That nigga that, hey, oh, oh, yeah. Hey, hey, oh, after, yeah. After, after you got her gifts and did all the dinners and stuff. Oh, you ain't in the big games no more? <laughs> oh, you ain't in no money? Oh. Guess I was hey. in just for the money then. See ya. I won't have, bitch. <laughs> right, he, right, he definitely right, turned Ryan. off his social media, though. Right, 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 right. <laughs> you know it. it you is, know. Yeah, you see. It Let me see what he would have got on too. Twitter. If y'all get a chance to go on like um online, I think it's on Get Up or so where Rex Ryan, no, it was on Sunday NFL Countdown where Rex mm -hmm. Ryan obliterates Bradley because you don't get the distinct of having your name be Brad. Bradley Allen for the bad officiant. He said the thing that bothers me the most is that we're putting the blame on the players. players. Stop. The players Stop did players. everything right. Right. Everything right. Could my you would think. Decker, an uh, eight-year veteran. Do you think he would just like not go in that situation That's a, and not that, report himself eligible? Like I understand if a rookie oh, did man. it, but an eight-year veteran. You talking about yeah? You Come talking on, about a, a a vet vet like right. who's been Let, there through through everything? Right this. after the game, I was watching Nightcat. <laughs> oh, with oh. Shannon Sharp. <laughs> <laughs> right. I gotta watch that episode. And I when I tell you, when I tell no. you. At first, he was like, well, maybe it was just a... And then when he saw her, he said, oh, hold on, Nocho. <laughs> this is... Oh, they messed up. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a whole, it's a whole video that shows that man walking over to him, dog. whole video. And wait, and here's the thing. Here's, here's the biggest thing. There are four implications because of last night's bad call. Number one, if the Lions had won, it would have secured at least a number two seed in the NFC, assuming that we win next week against Minnesota, it's Dallas still has the chance to win the win NFC the East. Yeah, they still have a chance to win the NFC East. And so, but like, if, if if Dallas would have lost and Philly win a day, they they would have they would have been out of it. Right. Well, well, well yeah, they would have been out of the contention to win the division. They would right. still be the play, but they would be a wild card team. Right. That's what I'm saying. No, that's what I'm saying. They yeah. wouldn't have had a chance to win the East, nah. but they would they would have still been a wild card team. And here's yeah. the kicker. Here's the kicker. If Detroit had won last night and if San Francisco had lost one more game, the Lions would have had the number one seed. And they're losing right now to Arizona. No, yeah. Philly, Philly losing to Arizona. I mean, no, no, Philly. No, 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 Washington, Washington. My bad. My bad. Washington. So that's who Dallas has next week. They got Washington next week. And I hope they lose. So you know what that means. All Lions fans are going to be cheering for, the, um, for Washington next week. But can go wrong, will go wrong. All the time. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. the damn time. All the especially when it comes to time. Especially, and not that, especially when it comes to Emperor Palpatine, Jerry Jones himself. 49ers won, y'all. Damn. That's good. No, that's a good thing. It would be nice if they were lost. No, well, they won by 17. Yeah, I don't they, think they, Washington they is that type of team to get their leg back on the next team. Nah, they ain't built like that. So like, next week is basically going to be Ron Rivera's last game coaching the team because he's getting fired at the end of, at the end of the year. Like let, let, like let's let's not even try to front. Let's not even try to front. So you think so? I know so. If and, then, NBA, and then uh, they're gonna give it to Eric. Who's getting uh, fired? Ron Rivera from uh, uh oh uh oh that's tough. Oh, Arizona just beat Philly. You yeah. lying? No, <laughs> Arizona just beat Philly. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> They just, they, they just 
scored the touchdown. They just scored the touchdown. I watched it. Let's go. Bro, what? Wait, wait. It's 32 seconds left. It's not over. It's 32 seconds It's over. over. They scored. And they about to go for a field goal, so they're going to be up four. They got to get a touchdown. Philly got to get a touchdown. Philly fans. And they not going to happen. They're kicking it off. Philly exactly. Fans, it's this, this, this not going to happen. Not going to happen. Over. This is a Matt Patricia happen. masterclass. It's not going to happen. We tried to tell you. It's not going to happen. We tried to tell you, Philly. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, moving on, we're going to talk about since the season three finales. Oh, um, man. it's time for us to look back oh. on 2023 on what it really was. There was a lot of good things, a lot of bad things, yeah. a lot of fucked up shit, a lot yep. of fucked up shit, which we probably will get into it on the show. But, um, in my top 10 events of 2023, but right now we're going to do the KCC. Crisscross Corner Awards. We have the 10 nominees. Yes, 10 nominees. For the stupidest <laughs> criminal oh in Detroit. That was such a, that was such a good build up. That was such a good build up. Now, ladies and gentlemen, these are in no order. I'm just going to list them off. Okay. So number one, we have the a man as, attempts to steal a DPD car from the Detroit Public Safety Headquarters downtown. Just stupid. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> oh number my two. God. N- number no, no, number two. A couple has sex on the yep. big wheel the at big Cedar wheel. Point. Yeah. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. I remember that, I remember that one. <laughs> well, talk talk about a big ending. All right, anyway. Uh, number three, man kills man over barbecue chicken, then has a standoff with police holding a child hostage. Boy, no way. Boy, no way. Oh, that did happen. Yeah, that's right. You know, what happened? Damn. Not over barbecue chicken. Oh, over barbecue chicken. chicken. What's the, honey, what's honey, honey, sweet, honey barbecue or sweet barbecue? It's barbecue chicken alert. <laughs> barbecue? Yeah, that's Shut up. <laughs> that's not good. That's not good. Right now. That's not good. <laughs> all right. All right. Number four. Two teens steal police car. Then take it to the precinct. Mm-hmm. They yeah, took it to the sixth precinct yeah. on Grash It. Yeah. I'll- I must have went on there for that episode. I don't remember that. Mm-hmm. Just stupid. All right, here's the good one. Two teens steal a police officer's gun from him at the murder back. Oh, yeah. God. I remember Not... that. I remember that. <laughs> Number six. A woman flees from the police and then runs to her house. With the police behind her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Just, God, just dumb. Um, number seven, an Ann Arbor teen charged after biting a Necto nightclub's employee's testicles because he was denied entry. But gruff the crime dog taking a bite out of crime. Winner. Winning. Number eight. Man shoots cop. Then makes a rap video on Instagram and stays in his home city, then gets caught by the U.S. Marshals. Oh, that was stupid. That was so stupid. And what was his rap name? I think it was Shooter Baby or something like that. Stupid. It was it was Bullwinkle. Um, yeah, you, you, yeah. Damn, New York just tied it up with uh with the Rams. You know what? But I can't even enjoy the Sunday games today, man. I'm sorry. Miami I'm gonna, I'm gonna game through. through. Um, woman number nine. Woman steals at a shop with a cop event. <laughs> that, that was oh, recent. That was, that was, that was, that that was recent. like two or three, yeah. like two yeah. episodes ago yeah. or something like that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Stupid. Yeah, like and 40 people number, outside. And then number 10, Chris, this is the way that you and me did. Okay, so oh, no. two teens at a gas station are running from the cops with the MSP helicopter over the gas station. And then the cops, the cops literally 
surround the car, and then they but and the guy gets in the car and tries to run. This is just this is just, just dumb, dumb criminals. That, that those are two people who play GTA a little bit too much. If you want to love it's at three. It's different in the video game than how it is in real life. These niggas had the MSP chopper over the gas station with the light flashing. You know what this little girl is messing up my stuff. Dang, Carolina just, hey, shut out, hey, shut out Sunday. Cause Carolina just got shut out 26 done against Jacksonville. That's good. Yeah, that, that, that's great. All right, so we have four people here. Oh. We're gonna see which one is gonna get the award for stupidest criminal in Detroit. So David, since you haven't been on in a minute, <coughs> And welcome back, by the way. Thank, thank it's you. been a minute. It has. It got to go. I got to go with the last one. That just sounds stupid. That's <laughs> if, At that point, just give up, bro. Like, <laughs> it's AGTA, bro. You ain't got a fast car. Let's just. <laughs> Actually, I think he had a Challenger or a Charger, one of those. But it's not an insertion. It's not an insurgent. You sure? You, you, you're right. You're right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he, he like was pumping gas, me. too. So we had to go exactly. around. Exactly. But he had to take the gas thing out and then hop into the car. Literally. At this point, while I'm pumping, hey, I surrender. You got it. You, you, got you it. can have it, big dog. <laughs> That's all you, man. Okay. All right. Uh, Chris, what you got? This one is. Very simple. This may have to go to old girl who decided to do some time foolery during the uh, during the event, and you got like thirty or so cops outside. That's that's the one for me. Okay. That that's the one for me because like you can clearly tell who has brain cells and who don't. <laughs> Out of any day, why that day? <laughs> why? I'm like bad people. Tell me why I had to be a stupid person. Exactly, like out of any day, any day. Come on, man. All right, Chuck. I'm gonna have to go with the young bull that shot the cop and then made a fuck. Then then stayed in the fucking state and made a song about it. Yeah. He made the whole video. It's like oh, it yeah, stayed man. in the state. Like, like, and you stayed in the state, bro. Like, they not looking for you, B. Like, everybody <laughs> looking for you, bro. You, you make it for you. But but these these motherfuckers be making cops jobs so easy now. Like Wait, with social we... media and all that shit, bro. They like you don't even as a cop, you don't even got to do no fucking detective work. You just be like, what's his name? Let me look up his social media. Oh, all right. I know where he at. I know where he at. I'm done. Did y'all see that one video where old girl told the cops, yeah, somebody stole my drugs? What was it? The cop okay. was like, wait, what? How? Wait, what? <laughs> Her yeah, somebody you stole my drugs. So you mean to tell me you told a cop that somebody stole your drugs? That somebody oh, stole, stole your, your drugs. drugs. He was like, "That's gotta be the stupidest thing I heard on." <laughs> they arrested her at the spot after the, uh, she was riding with her sister. She was like, "You better not have no drugs in my fucking car." <laughs> yeah, all right, man. Um, yeah. hey, um, hey, Chris, Chris, I think, I think it may be the day that you can actually make a video because it looks like the Raiders are about to lose and be out of playoff contention. What'd you say, Chris? I had to I had to stop my daughter from choking. What happened? Okay. So it looks like you that you will have a chance to make a video today because the Raiders looks like they're about to lose against Indianapolis Let's go. And, be, and be eliminated from playoff contention. So 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 which uh death video should I do for the Raiders? Let's do the one where it is because the Raiders they just had a, a, a crazy year between like I don't know. There's I don't know. The Raiders lost. Do, 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 the, do the one where it's um, Tampa, Tampa Bay then do, lost do, too. Of course. Do do the one where it's um 
from the Dark Knight Rises where like, you know, Scarecrow, they're like trying to do like the trials and everything. And they're saying death via exile or something like that from the Dark Knight Rises or something like that. Interesting. Damn. 49 is fucking one. Yeah, the Colts sure won. Been the second and because the, sure would have been the second. And this because the and because the and because the Panthers lost, the Bears officially had the number one pick in next year's draft. Officially. Mm. That's good. And it's, watch them. Well, who would they get? Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams. Williams at this point. Oh, yeah. so they just gonna just gonna give up on Justin? I mean, just no. I mean, uh, they 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 have uh, what's uh, Harper? Not Harper, Bryce Young. You said yeah. the, Bears. the Bears. The Bears got the Bears. the Bears get the number one pick. Yeah, right. So who are they gonna get? Oh, the hey. Bears do. So I thought you made. If Carolina. anything, but, if no, anything, no, no. you see what I, I said with Justin. I, I will. I will trade. That's, I will trade that's that, Justin. I will trade that number that's one pick and get a yeah. bunch of other fucking picks. They did it last year. No, I'm talking about. I'm talking about the 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 uh. The Bears. I mean, the Bears right now, their number one pick came from Carolina. Right, but I'm saying. The, no, the Bears own separate pick. I think with the Bears, their current record right now, I think they get like a top 10 pick. But but I'm saying, what I'm saying is the Bears, if Carolina got the number one, if Carolina pretty much got the number one pick, but it's the Bears pick, right? Right. And I still got Justin Fields. Why, 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 why would I, why would I, had a number mm-hmm. one pick and everybody want Caleb Williams, right? I mean, you don't have you, you, you don't have to choose Caleb Williams though, right? But, I'm just, Jr. but but I'm just saying, but you can get more picks for that number one pick. Or oh, really, here's an you, idea. Here's an idea. Instead of picking a quarterback, how about you protect? How about you get a line to protect your quarterback? How about that? But who really gonna that waste that on a first round pick though? But it, there's but there's no there's no is there really a a, a top five offensive linemen that's that's out there for them to waste a number one pick on. I mean, on Michigan? Probably. Some of the Michigan and Alabama? Yeah, but I would trade. You, but them, them motherfuckers going to be there, bro. I'm telling you right now. i trade that number one pick and get and get oh, and get three. You could probably get a number one, a number two, and probably a number six pick for, for that. For that, for number, that number one, one pick. That number yep. one. Mm-hmm. Cause everybody, a lot of teams that need a, a lot of teams that need quarterbacks, need quarterbacks want that K, want Caleb Williams, bro. Oh yeah. Like, so who gets so, so, Tennessee? So trade bro, Tennessee. No, Tennessee, Tennessee don't need a quarterback. They, they got don't love. Need a they, they don't. Uh, I mean, uh, who who uh, could use a quarterback right now? Atlanta. They could. Atlanta needs Tampa Tampa Caleb Williams would definitely go to Atlanta. Atlanta, it's Tampa good. Bay can use a quarterback. Mm-hmm. So, so Tampa Bay good. Baker, Baker, no, I would Baker. No, I would Baker. Um, Baker, is Baker. Miss Baker is too inconsistent. It is okay. So real quick, two things. So is Jared Goff, but he got us into the playoffs. Two, two things. That's why I say Hinton or Teddy. Because <laughs> be, wait, because wait, because Arizona beat the Eagles. The the Forty Nines officially have the number one seed, mm, and we the know Cowboys this, can we know clinch. This, okay, and Cowboys are not, Cowboys are now technically number one in the in the East. Yeah, and the Ravens right now they got the the Ravens just put a fifty six against uh, Miami. It's okay. So the three yeah, stupidest criminals in Detroit picks that we chose will be. I will put this in a poll in, in our chat, and I will go through all the all the metrics and stuff for the episodes that these episode that these ones were on, and we'll pick a winner. So for now we have the man shoots a cop, makes a rap video on Instagram, yep. stayed in town, and then caught by the U.S. Marshals. That's that's number one. Woman steals at a shop with a cop event. That's two. And then a teen jumps into a car and try to run away from the MSP police when he was surrounded by cops and a MSP helicopter. Just Crazy. just dumb. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> like, don't. Super, and we will, and we will, we will announce a winner on the season four premiere, which will be next week. Just also, weird. we will also be announcing the Great Debater of the Year award, which will be the first Great Debater of the Year award that I will be giving out. This will go to the Great Debater who has been consistent, the most consistent, mm-hmm. David. Mm-hmm. Um, who's been Damn. on the show? 
and <laughs> damn. Hey, I've been You're taking social media moments. breaks, so I, I, I knew I wasn't gonna be. Yeah, I understand. people, so, people. I have stupid people that I gotta deal with on, on like a so. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I do. I do every Tuesday, David. It's okay. <laughs> um, so <laughs> we will have that award as well. Now, moving on to the top ten list of the week which is the top 10 events, in my opinion, of 2023. Oh, I already know what's going to be on this list. That's a cut. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, no. oh, my God, that was perfect. That's a cut, Crystal. <laughs> All right, so we have some honorable mentions. Um... Six Flags and Cedar Fair merge to create a new company called Six Flags, uh, which is dumb. <laughs> it, it sounds dumb, but that's what happened. Uh, so Six Flags just own them, okay? No, no, no. Cedar Cedar Fair owns Six Flags, but the company is going to be called Six Flags. But it's going to have Cedar Fair's um, stock exchange number on the on the ticker. It's 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 weird. It's, it's a tongue twister. It's a merger. No, I get it because I'm part of a merger too. Yeah, yeah, I get it. So here's another one. So the FDA approves two gene therapies for sickle cell disease. So the chip coming? Okay. Yeah, it's coming. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, The UAW workers' strike that happened this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they paid a lot of a lot of money. A lot. Sag after. Yes, a lot of money. Yeah, I, I, I'll get to that too, David. Um, the Texas Rangers win the MLB World Championship. You know it's crazy when the I'm Rangers. Out of Texas. You, you, you know you know it's crazy. You know it's crazy when the Rangers win their first World Series before the Cowboys made it back to another NFC Championship. I'm just saying. I'm tired of Texas. I am too, man. Right. Um, Rupert Murdoch resigns from Fox and gives the company to his son. So Rupert Murdoch's been is. around. He's the founder of Fox, like the company, the channel Fox. Yeah. Yep. He resigned after, I think it was founded like 89 or something like that. Yeah, something like that. So he's finally giving it up. I yep. thought it was old. I thought it was like oh, no. ancient old. Like, oh, no. I really think the oldest one is like CBS or NBC, I think is the oldest. I think right. there's a American broadcasting channel or something. I think there's <laughs> at CBS. Yeah, mm-hmm. one of those. One of them I mean, big. They were like uh, radio ABC, stations before I think TV. It's ABC, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ABC and CBS is ancient. Mm-hmm. They were there for like radio. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, Tupac Shooter was found this year, y'all. Yeah, not long enough. Allegedly, so allegedly. So allegedly. that's what I was about to say. So they say, <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, hey, we might as well get somebody for it. About time. That's what they were saying. Like, yeah, I guess it's only been twenty years. Mm-hmm. Uh, you knew Tupac. Come here. Right. You you got a gun? Come here. Mm-hmm. Um, you were in Vegas in '96. Come here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, a state judge in Oklahoma dismissed a lawsuit by the survivors of the Tulsa bombings. Wait, that's bullshit. Tulsa bombings. It, it was bullshit. Like the yeah, the, yeah, the Oklahoma the, the back in the black, day Tulsa black, bombings. Black Wall yeah, Street. 1921 the, Black Wall Street bombings. Them, them Tulsa. Yeah, and they yep. see they don't get any compensation. This is why I'm going to Japan. No, no reparations at all. <laughs> this is why I'm going to Japan. <laughs> um, what else do we have for 2023? We have the Vegas Golden Knights win the NHL World Championship in convincing I fashion I due to this, the strippers at one club in Vegas saying that if they won, they would get free lap dances. I'm so mad about that parlay. They scored nine points in the final. I had them on, and Chris and Chris contested this. I had them scoring ten points on the parlay. The payout would have been seven hundred. They were at nine. I'll take see. Get another one. Get another one. And the Pistons need to learn from them because they had incentives to play for. But but which strip club are going to give the incentive though? Right, like which one? It didn't Ooh. matter. Any they still played hard. They still played hard, and they won, didn't they? 
So why couldn't the Pistons follow after? You know what? Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, any, anyone in the city? Anyone? <laughs> Uh, let me see. Uh, the Denver Nuggets win the NBA championship. Yeah, fuck them. That was like the most unevent- uneventful I finals knew that ever. Was that. I knew Actually, that all was of that. them. All of them since the bubble, I haven't really felt like huge. Oh, you, you, oh, you mean the I mean, Mickey Mouse championship? No, ever, no, ever since the Mickey bubble. Mouse because that's mental. That's all. I'm actually, mental. actually, ever since the Toronto year, I didn't care about. I don't care about the NBA championship anymore. Fair. They're like they just don't feel special anymore. Um, you could tell the outcome about the teams who was in the playoffs. I'm about to say it'd be the matchup. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's like Toronto, Golden State, Miami, Lakers. We all know the Golden State ain't gonna make it past Milwaukee, the Phoenix. Year. It was just a, uh, then Golden oh. State, Boston. Like, who cares? No, that's decent. I will say that. No, that's there's decent. two teams I don't care about, so I didn't watch it. <clears throat> oh, God, the Browns won. Uh, the Michigan State mass shooting happened this year. Oh, I forgot about oh, that. Yeah, yeah. For um, good reason. What other school mass shooting was it to this year? Shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, them year. True. Mm-hmm. Um, um, yeah. Tom Brady announced his second retirement. Oh, yeah. His oh, final retirement. No, nope, just a second one. Just a second final. one. His final. His final. He, he wanted to come back this year, but said no. <laughs> Because he was like, Detroit, Detroit. <laughs> and then, speaking of hell no, the Oxford shooter was sentenced to life with, without parole in 2023. Say it with me, y'all. I'm Should have. Dust, won't let me out. I'm confused. I don't know. I don't know about that situation. That's the high school, that Oxford High School. Oxford yeah, High school, school shooter. It was what? A couple years ago, right? Or last it year? It was in 2022, I think it was. Last year. Was it in Texas? No. No, it was here in Michigan, Oxford, Michigan. Oxford, Michigan. It was big as hell. That was a big ass story, bro. Damn, you must have been under a rock that whole month. The whole year. What you mean? They was like, they got the parents, they got the school counselors. I take social media breaks, so that's they they that's that be my news. news. I don't watch the news. I don't care for the news because I don't leave my house. Sound like an old lady. Hey, nowadays everything costs. You know how the millennials, we got to break our backs just to try to live. That's true. And speaking of that, go to anchor.fm slash crisscross quarter slash support to bring in the new year with a bang, you know? I see. You feel me? $5 a month gets you everything. Don't forget the Patreon. Slash slash subscribe to the Patreon as well. Don't forget the Patreon. Crisscross (laughs) quarter on Patreon. (laughs) We'll get you the unedited video, which I will be sending right now after we do this episode. <laughs> before I edit it and send it out to YouTube, and the unedited podcast audio. You hear all the bullshit. All, all the, you hear all the bullshit before we even start. Everything. 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 Right. All right. <clears throat> so here we go with, with the top ten. Number ten, we have LeBron James breaks the all-time scoring record. That was big. That was huge. Hey, come on, man. That was huge in the sports world. I mean, I give it to him, but I'm just saying it is what it is. Shit, when you when you play 21 years, and you started at 18. I mean, that's. I mean, I give him that, and still playing at a high level. That's great. Like that's greatness. Now, what I want to say. Of course he was. Of course he was gonna break it. Shit, he he had to. He came in Cleveland averaging thirty. Shit. So mm-hmm. now I will say they didn't have to like stop the entire game for like thirty minutes or so. Where you still have yeah, another. Did. Yeah, they did. He bro. was in the crowd, dude. You oh, gotta yeah. understand it. He was yeah. at the game. <laughs> well, him and George Jabbar had a nap time. He had to get home. He was like, gotta, "Hey man, here." You gotta understand that was like an unbreakable record for a long time. Like. Well, this one ain't never gonna be broken. I, no, I, yes, it will. This one ain't never gonna be broken. Yes, it will. Who gonna, who gonna break that? Ain't nobody Katie. gonna play. Hey, nobody... hey, hey, hey. We're, we're talking. You, you guys are talking years. like the people back when Kareem broke it. Like, no one's gonna beat it. Now LeBron broke it. Someone's gonna Katie? beat LeBron's record. Katie breaking it. No. Curry might get close. Nah. Nope. Like, Katie's only like 
they both K- they both running like out of time. time, bro. They both K- running out of time, bro. Katie's only got like it's only right now like tenth all time. So, damn. They both they they running out of time, bro. KD like 34, 33, 34, something like that. Curry 35. Like, yeah, bro. With a burner account, yeah. Yeah. You got no much time left. Hey, let KD live with his burner, all right? Speaking of burning accounts, um, number nine is WeWork, Bed Bath and Beyond, and Rite Aid filed for bankruptcy. Dang. And I went to Walgreens just a few days ago. They're about to go through bankruptcy too, because ain't no way shampoo's supposed to cost twelve dollars. Oh hell no! That's why you just go for medicine. That's the only way. I went. Up, I got to the trash register. I had four things in my cart, Chuck. Bugs. It was like one oh nine. I said, "Wait, what did I get?" I just go there just to get a pack of them. For anything else but prescription, bro. Hey, I just go there. I figured that out on two days ago. Shit. I was like, I ain't never what? shopping here for chips again. And now you can even go to Walmart and get your prescription filled. So shit. Mm-hmm. That's, that's that's the, the whole problem. Thing. That's the problem right there. Walmart and Target, they didn't they don't they, they don't they, they. <laughs> Myers, you can go to Myers. <laughs> shit. Everything. You don't no no more. Your gas, your prescriptions, yes. your groceries, yep. your yep. tires, yep. your bike stuff, everything. Yep. <laughs> So, so you shop at Walmart then? Oh, Walmart, no, Meyer, Walmart. Kroger, anywhere that I can I'm, get. I'm groceries. a Costco guy myself, you know. They yeah, got everything. They got yeah, the tires I, and stuff. I, I got a Costco like five or Sam's Club. I'm definitely a Costco, Sam's Club, yeah. Meyer's Target yeah. person. That's it. Mm-hmm. Especially when you got to buy stuff in bulk like that. Like that's that's like a that's a good spot. Mm-hmm. Um, number nine. No, actually, actually, number eight. The Titan submarine goes missing on June eighteenth. Oh okay, yeah, can we talk about that just briefly? Just briefly. Yeah, I just want to understand the whole thinking process and the thought process of why are people that stupid? Why do we have stupid people like that in the world? I just want to know for the whole simple fact of I get it's a historic ship. I get that it's sunk years ago but if you've seen it already why are we going back down there no <laughs> there's fucking IMAX movies about this shit you can look at it there I'm pretty, I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure YouTube got it <laughs> we all live in the yellow submarine Oh, actually, yeah, it, actually, it, it was a red submarine. Anyway, red and submarine. all of them, oh, all of them, seen it at least once. At least, I feel like yeah. <laughs> no, no damn right. sense, man. The thing imploded, guys. It was just, it was like science at its best. <laughs> what a Logitech controller, a Logitech, Logitech, a Logitech. <laughs> Oh, freaking Logitech, man. <laughs> this nigga with the Best Buy, like, let me get that uh, controller from the top shelf. He did a whole PowerPoint presentation on a Logitech controller, guys. A Bluetooth oh, wow. Logitech yeah. controller. And this what happened. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hey, F around and find out. F around yeah. and find out. All right, fuck around and find out. Number seven is WWE has been sold to Endeavor on April mm-hmm. 3rd, 2023. It's mm-hmm. an old, it's a merge. Yeah, like yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's yeah. a merge. It's not wait, necessarily a sold. Wait, wait, we we legit thought we was gonna get freaking Conor McGregor versus Seth Rollins for the WWE. I don't know why y'all thought that. I was just hey, thinking hey, that man. it's the same thing. They just getting more money. That's how I just. That's it. That's like, <laughs> you never know, man. They got freaking bad bunny and Logan Paul. It was like there was like Cormier versus Lashley. I'm like, all right, you know, stop mm-hmm. pumping. Yeah, 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 y'all doing too much. Hey man. <laughs> Speaking of doing too much, number six, the Supreme Court ends affirmative action six to three. That's stupid, but whatever. So I yeah. for, I forgot what that was for a minute. Affirmative action. I still yeah, I'm still it, having it black brain people farts. in college. Mm. Like, yeah, the original intent was for help, you know. Disenfranchised black. Americans at the time, black people, yeah. black in the people getting, getting PWIs. Yeah, as what the as PWI? the years went on, PWIs primarily white, primarily white institution. institution. So, like Harvard, the Ivy Leagues, basically. Was Pretty, yeah, or like Pretty Michigan. Anything, you know? anything that's not an HBCU, bro. 
Yeah, okay, and, so like stay in them and okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what happened was that it went into into law like like in the fifties and sixties or seventies. Right, right, right. As, I remember. As you know, people come to America. You know, mm-hmm. black people became. You know, we we rose up. You know, became middle class, upper mm-hmm. class, and then the new immigrants became. You know, more brown, more Asian, mm-hmm. more ethnic, mm-hmm. and then suddenly they started becoming the major beneficiaries of this law. Mm-hmm. And then you know the politics that happen now. People don't like mm-hmm. them coming over, stealing our jobs, stealing mm-hmm. our school, and mm-hmm. the conservatives don't like that. Trump appointed three Supreme Court justices. Mm-hmm. Now the Supreme Court is now six to three. Now, not, not everything that I know is is, is lining up and to what you're saying. Everything mm-hmm. is like boom. We don't want mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. We're taking it out by law. So now there's no more affirmative action. Thank you, Donald Trump. That's what y'all voted. I mean, that's what y'all want. Hey. Like your office. Like y'all really think we just gonna get steamies. I don't want steamies. Steamies come out of taxes. <laughs> they did. <laughs> <laughs> that's the whole reason why I ain't getting no taxes last year. I'm over here looking like, hey, y'all about to get taxes. Uh, that's the reason why everything and then they said up. nope. That's inflation. That's what that's inflation. What, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when I blame Biden. Like, nigga, you gave Biden. us almost three thousand dollars to every American. Three, mm-hmm. three, three, them three I, my lord. I started a whole new career and everything. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "You sit down, watch the TV. And your life just passing you by." Bitch. <laughs> 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 Trump was literally the Edwards commercial. You sit down and watch the TV. Here, here's twenty four hundred dollars. <laughs> Do something with your life. I did. The smart they, people actually did something with their lives. Mm-hmm. The other people I'm just bought, a producer know, now. C four broil, you know, buying boats and shit. <laughs> For what? Just, just make. That, money. Was, that was a fun time, David. You got to admit that it was a fun time. It was not a fun time. Oh, it was, great. It was not. It was amazing. I was stressed out. I was stressed out too, but watching it, it was not a fun time. on boats. It's like, oh, I rented this for two two hours. Like, yeah, all right. Yeah, you rented it for two hours. You the rented whole... it for two hours, but now all your money gone. Exactly. I need another steamy. They get another steamy. I want more steamy. They get another steamy. Hey, I, I was one of them for it because wow. I was just packing up. I was just stashing it. Like, yeah, you mean another mm-hmm. steamy? Mm-hmm. But anyway, thank you, Donald Trump. And we'll no, get to you no in a thank second. You. No, thank you. We'll, we'll we'll get into more Donald Trump in a second. Oh, number yeah. five. Number five is um the Barbie Oppenheimer weekend. Oh. So many people went out to the movies to see either so, one of those movies. So many. And like and like I don't I'm, know why. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it right now. See, a lot of women mock guys because you no know, dudes just want to go super same, but when y'all want to be Barbies, the same man. Hey, same energy. Just keep saying. it. Just same, keep it. Just energy. keep it. That's same all we ask you. That's all we ask you. Same the thing about happened. the Barbie Oppenheimer weekend was they did a map on which states had the most Barbie watchers and the ones who had the most Oppenheimer watchers. Oh, okay. And they did oh, the, the Barbie ones. Don't... They matched it to a political map from 2016 and 2020. More people watched Barbie in like Texas in like the mm-hmm. Southern Belt who voted mm-hmm. Republican. And mm-hmm. all the places who voted like Democrat were the people who watched Oppenheimer. Mm-hmm. So let's see this. You're watching an historical movie about the atomic mm-hmm. bomb, mm-hmm. right? For Democrats, rather than watch, I don't know, Barbie for two hours, two two hours and fifteen minutes. Mm-hmm. It was two hour movie. Yes, oh, that's a long movie. Damn. Yes, about a, plastic people. Movie. About plastic people. You're right. Mm-mm-mm. So it shows who's you know who's really smart in this country. I watched I both. I thought I was good. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I ain't even watching none of them. Uh, I saw neither. Exactly. I'm I, I mean, I just I see that at the time. I watched it way after that after the summer, but I don't care where it's on. I don't know why Barbie. people watched Barbie. But Oppenheimer was a good Christopher Nolan film. Right. I think even for it to be Christopher Nolan, it better be good. I, I think mm-hmm. I think it's like I think it's like right up there, like probably like one of his one of his best works. It's a, it's up there with uh what's the one with what he did? Um um, Interstellar, not Interstellar. The one, the Dunkirk, Dunkirk. That's the oh, one. I forgot. The he board. is the historic. He's the historic. He is got, the historic I got, I got, producer. I got, I got, I got, I got like really. And a director. I think I know what you're talking about. 
So that one, it was pretty good. He does like these obscure history like things. Like no one cares about the guy who did the atomic bomb until he did a movie about it. <laughs> like, yeah, no, like, like come on. Let's be let's be let's be real though. Let's be real. Let's be real. Who was like, hmm? How did the atomic bomb get created? <sighs> let's talk about the guy who did it. Are you talking about tenants? <laughs> no, I said uh, Dunkirk. Dunk. About the oh. World War Two. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, that one. Oh, yeah. I I watched that one in a minute. Which is also an, an obscure, like, historical... Who did the 1919 uh, war? Who did that one? I think that was also Christopher Nolan. Uh, you know what I'm saying? No, no, oh, you mean you know, 1917, you mean? 1917, 1917. Yeah, 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 I haven't watched that yet. I, don't, I need to watch that. Good movie. For what? For what? It was, what? Uh, <laughs> For what? It was, a, it was a World War One. San, San Mendes. No! San Mendes. It's a very pivotal moment in history, David. <laughs> yeah, the Not for our people? Yeah. Yeah, it, it was um no you oh you don't understand David World War One they was trying some new shit they was like you know what we can't take them out from the ground we should just drop bricks on their asses I know I know but I don't want to see a movie on that but okay, all right David I, I'm we we'll disagree still, to disagree we we'll just agree to disagree y'all are some dark people yeah let's see how they how was it yeah, it, it was yeah, let's, see, let's see how they used to kill people back in the day yeah, oh let's see oh let's see the dick torturing device that they used to put on people back in the day <laughs> like it was a no. culture it's called disembowelment that was actually a thing they did david <laughs> like no i don't want to no okay all right no number four stupid. number four messy comes to the mls and joins inner miami fc man so America got their tickets went up so high. They went up so quick. <laughs> it was like fifteen dollars for the game, like the the, the the Copa game. It was like hey. the highest ticket was like one hundred and fifty bucks. When Messi Damn. came on the team, it they went up like nine hundred. Talk about the incentives of how they paid the man. Let's let's go into the specifics of that. Man, he gets his own, <laughs> he gets his own team once he retires. What else? <laughs> He gets Ooh, a stock yeah, name after him. He got everything. He got a stock from the company. Stock from the com- stock from the company. He gets Ooh. ownership. He gets part ownership of Inter Miami with Beckham. Then he gets his own exactly. team if he wants to. Exactly. Uh-huh. AKA forget forget the bad, forget the safe, forget the brace truck. You just get everything. You you get everything. And this at the same time where <laughs> Messi had a one point was a one point three billion dollar deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With um Saudi Arabia, mm-hmm. yep. I was like, to give compete. me a soccer ball to compete, just to come, just to play for two years. One point three billion. Hey, g- give years. me a soccer ball. Two years. That's crazy. That's All right, number th- number three is actually very crazy. So we have the First Republic Bank and the Silicon Valley Bank fail. Gross. Oof. Well, Both the banks fail. Bank? Yeah, that was a dud. It was like, yeah, all, all money's safe. And then the next day, you're like, oh, our money's gone. I feel for mm-hmm. uh, Camellia near the end. Man. <laughs> all that money, all money is gone. Dumb. Make, sure, make sure think about like your where your money's at right now. Like What bank you put your money in is like a huge decision. Oh, Lordy. Yes, it is. They were protected uh, uh, by the federal? No. Mm-hmm. That's tough. And it was like, yeah, I got mid- billions of dollars. No, you don't. It's gone. No, you don't. <laughs> you think you have billions of dollars. That's tough. Um, the Writers Guild of America strike and the SAG strike. Mm-hmm. And, 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 for many. I ain't and the rise of Tubi movies because of the strike. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh. I, just, I can't wait to see what two and one is because you probably missed the honorable mention. <laughs> oh, no, we're getting there. He's getting there. He's getting there. <laughs> what, 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 hey, hey. No, no, no. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. We're going to get some good stuff. Okay, we have uh, Trump's mugshot at Fulton County Jail. Great That's moment cool. in 2023. Is it because he's still king, apparently? Yes, he's still he I mean his <coughs> trial starts in March, I think. Uh, um Apple becomes the first publicly publicly traded company to reach three trillion dollars. Mm. Damn. Three trillion. I know Ooh, Steve Jobs over here turning in his grave. Yeah, he's like shit. 
Fuck you, pancreas. <laughs> it should have been me. Shit, did he have kids and shit? I think he did. I don't think so. I don't know, bro. I don't think so. Fact check. That's what I'm about to do right now. No, before we do our number one, before we do my number one event of 2023, which is gonna be like the best event ever, we're gonna yep. do a fact check on if Steve Jobs had kids. I'm doing it right now. All right. Cause he, show, they 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 straight shit. I don't think he did. Mm. That's crazy. He, nope, he does. He had four children. Oh, oh thank oh. God. Oh, 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 okay. All right. All right. We good. We good. He got four. Did he name it clean, dirty, just clean jobs, dirty jobs? Yeah. Um, <laughs> one of them, one of them is uh, easy and hard, hard jobs, easy jobs. Lisa, Lisa, her name's Lisa, Eve, and uh, what about blankets? Shut up, <laughs> this nigga said blanket. <laughs> blanket was took, he, he, he said cover. And his, uh, his, 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 yeah. His side chick named it Blow. So his last name was his name was Blowjob. <laughs> uh, <sighs> my gosh. All right. Thanks for the fact check, David. Uh-huh. No problem. All right. So my number one event mm-hmm. of 2023 mm-hmm. is a moment that will be immortalized in history. Mm-hmm. August 5th. Yeah. 2023. Mm-hmm. The chair shot heard around the world. Nope. The Montgomery, Montgomery Tea Party. Party. Montgomery the Tea Montgomery Party. Tea Party. That is. <laughs> hit the rock. ECW. 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 And then the same shit happened in Detroit. Oh, yeah, it did. He did. The yellow <laughs> chair. I forgot about that. I forgot. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling oh, you. Yeah, like a chair. week later. Yeah, he was like, yellow chair, white people. Let's start something. Yeah, I, like, I ain't see like that. A week, week later, my man started swinging that chair in the tree. I think it was in a Waffle House too. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't. That's the one I remember. I do remember the Waffle House fight. Like, oh it's always something like the Waffle when House. When she threw that, she threw it, and old girl just, <laughs> just bet that boy down. That did happen. I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, he just swatted. She just get <laughs> shit out of here, bro. Get shit out of here, nigga. Damn. That shit, funny. Oh, that's funny. Okay, I do want to put a, a, an honorable mention for in, events of 2023 and Stupidest uh-huh. Criminals of Detroit. Criminals of Detroit. Uh-huh. Remember that one guy who was like he was here to rob the nail salon and nobody moved? Oh, nobody moved. Yes. Oh, there he is. No, I don't. He was like, I'm here to rob. Give me your money. Here's and they was just sitting there. I was like, no, like, if you don't get out. What the fuck are you here for, nigga? They're like, Herman, <laughs> they're like, Herman, if you don't get your ass on out of here. They were like, we do tap. We don't do cash. We do tap and, tap and insert. That was probably his like third or fourth time. They was like, hey, bro, like, all right, dog. At this point, he just left like, all right, I'll just, I'll just move to the next place. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. Twenty twenty three was great. Oh, it was, man. Good year. It was, it was, it was very wild. I'm surprised. It was, it was a wild year. I'm, su- I'm, su- I'm surprised you didn't have the uh, the Lions winning the divisional title for the first time in thirty years. No, 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 he, he, no, no, he ain't gonna. After what happened, what transpired what happened, last night, he wasn't gonna put that in there. He was not gonna put that in there. You know that. You know Chris too well to know that. As yes. soon as that happened, I said, Chris, not going to make an announcement. Oh, oh well, I was waiting for the announcement that Chris had. So no, no, Chris had a fire one. Chris had, I bet you he had a fire one tight up. Right? I raced it. I raced it. I raced it. I raced Wait, David. David. I put the, hold on. I, put, I, I was like, I put the delete button like. <laughs> Deleted that bitch. <laughs> Montgomery oh, Tea Party, <laughs> goddamn it! The Montgomery Tea Party, man. <sighs> you can say Montgomery Tea Party, Montgomery Bra, Montgomery <sighs> Maymay. It looked like a fucking Royal Rumble out there, man. What was man? Hey, bro, that shit was epic. That shit was a classic moment in history, bro. They're gonna put that in the African American Smithsonian Museum in DC. They need. 
I no 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 not just the chair. I need the chair, and they need to be like a, a TV with like the with like the foot with the footage. No, of Chris. No, Chris. They're gonna do a whole floor, a whole ex exhibit <laughs> on that, that, August. That's, that's, even, that's even better. The eighth floor is gonna be the eighth, October. <laughs> hey, they're gonna put the whole fairy at the at, whole in there. <laughs> the whole thing, the whole like thing. a four D experience. Like, what would you do if a white person came up on you? <laughs> Would you A swing your oh, swing your fist? Would you B lift get this white chair? Or C call your other black friends after throwing a cap in the air? Or do you just throw the hat in the air to let everyone know? Mm -hmm. It's about to go down. <laughs> Dang. This next time I go to next time I go to Alabama, so I'm gonna go down to my oh gonna go to that same that same area. That's been another episode of Crisscross Quarter. Thank you, Chuck and David and Chris for being on the show. Happy New Year, everybody. See y'all next Happy year. New year. Yeah. Oh, uh -huh.